Hello Capricorn, welcome to your reading How to Find Love for June 2021. We are using the Romantic Tarot deck. So here we go. First card is the Wheel of Fortune. This card is showing me how you are right now Capricorn. And it speaks about the departure. Destiny is propitious. The case distributes advantage. Ask some for nothing, ask other for the bill. The time of love is fickle. Change. So, I can say here that you are going through change. You are letting go of some things in your life and preparing to a new adventure. You're full of energy, um, full of will to live and explore the world. In the second position here, we have the kind of love that you need. And this is the hanged man. And it speaks about the trials and tribulations of love. Sacrifice is necessary when the cause is great. Those who dream must know they are dreaming of clouds. It is the card of suffering. Of course, this is not telling you that you need a suffering love, but definitely means that you need someone with a certain baggage, someone that has already made some mistakes in their lives, someone that has different points of view, that has some kind of flexibility, some kind of mojo because of everything that this person went through. In other words, you need someone with maturity. In the third position, we have what you must express to find love or what you must express in this future relationship so it can be successful. And here we have another major arcana. It's the temperance. The temperance in the romantic tarot is the chalice. The art of knowing how to adapt is always useful in love. To do so, however, you must be compassionate of your neighbor's misfortunes. It is always also the card of healing. So, as you see here, we have water and water is running down this counter and making, you know, a little detours and finding its way. So, what you need to express is your feelings, is also new ways, new roads to love, uh, new points of view, but also, you know, compassion in regards of the of other people of, of or maybe to this other person that you will be together. In the fourth position, we have what you must give to find love or what you must give to this relationship to be successful. And here we have the Knight of Pentacles and is an officer and a gentleman. War is needed for an ear of ear of wheat to grow. Then at the right time, the grains ripen as your desire and it must be harvested quickly. It is the card of courage. So what I'm, I'm seeing here is that you need to put work into this relationship. You know, you must plant the seed, you must take care of the plants, you must ha make the harvest, you know, so you can nurture this, um, this relationship. And as you see, this deck is in four different cities, so Vienna, Venice, Rome and Paris. And Pentacles are actually in Rome. And as you see here, this guy is throwing some coins in, the, in this fountain. So he's making a wish, giving his money to the water. And at the same time, the water is here, you know, uh, helping this this horse that is thirsty so you know nurturing nurturing giving so you can have back what you must take from this relationship 
or what you must take out of this relationship so it can be successful. And it's the five of chalices. This is another city in Italy, this is Venice. And this is the card of the Venetian quarrels. The peace of night time must end and will end. This is why you end the game and take away everything you can. Regrets. So this card is telling us that you must not give in to jealousy. And especially, you must not let negative feelings pile up until the moment that you explode and you just want to go away. So I understand that here you need to take the negativity and always communicate your feelings in order to keep everything check and to keep the relationship evolving. The sixth position is actually answering us how we would find love is the outcome of this reading. And here we have the two of chalices. So this is the toast. Here we are again in Venice. So the toast speaks about the sea that is rough with change and crashes against the stony cliffs of the heart. Soon the storm will cry to the rocks to become flesh. It is the card of affinity. So I understand here that you will find love exposing a little bit of your feelings and also focusing in someone that wants to have things in common with you. So if you want to get married, this person will want to get married too. If you only want to have a relationship with, when, we, when you are together but not officially married, this person will have this thing in common too. So pay attention to the affinities that you have. The overall message, the bottom of the deck, which I also consider as the final advice of the tarot regarding this reading, we have the Two of Pentacles. And here it is the card of the innocent games. What does not exist certainly will be. Nothing escapes change. Everything is a moving wave, easy and happy, crazy and in love. It is the card of balancing. So here I see something that begins in an early stage as a friendship, as games, you know, someone that like will pick on you and mock you. And actually this will evolve in something much more important, in love, in a stable relationship. I also asked the Under the Roses Lenormand to give us advice on how we find love, Capricorn. And here is the lady. So if you're looking for a lady, actually, actually you will find her. And if you are a woman, in order to find love, you must nourish in yourself, nurture in yourself the feminine energy, the feminine qualities. So let's also ask for the Romance Angels Oracle cards to give us some more advice on how we will find love, Capricorn. What is this person for you? How you will find this person? How this person will be? What this person will be for you? And maybe what you are doing in your heart and in your mind to find your way to love, Capricorn. Oops, sorry. Oh, wow. We have wedding. This situation involves marriage. So, of course, this is only an advice. I don't know if how you find love is going to a wedding and finding this person. If this person that you will find is going to be your husband, your wife, your lifetime companion. But just don't be very closed off in this message. And remember, wedding 
is involved in the situation on how you will find love. So thank you very much for watching Capricorn. See you next time.